Now in France, rising temperatures are posing a threat to champagne makers and their grapes. Researchers there are looking for new grape formulas to produce something more resistant to the changing climate, which could help to save future production. Sky Charlotte Lomas has this report. Epinay, France, the champagne capital of the world. Every single bottle consumed comes from this region. More than 250 million are sold every year. But getting from vine to wine is becoming more challenging as climate change and increasing temperatures are forcing growers to look for new techniques. Research is being done to introduce a new hybrid grape which is stronger in the changing weather. It should be a more resistant grape. It should resist better to uh, uh, mildew or oidium or the various types of uh, fungus diseases that we can experience. But at the same time, we want those grapes to be able to resist a higher temperature uh, and basically to mature more slowly. It will take decades for the work to come to fruition. And in the meantime, winemakers are taking action themselves. New vines are being planted, which will take longer to ripen to balance out harvest dates. When this vine is ready to, to produce in 30, 40, 50 years, it's the vegetative period is more longer. In fact, even if we have one degree more uh, in, the, in the global climate, we can keep the same date of harvest. And to an industry which employs more than 100,000 seasonal workers to get the job done, timing is everything. If we take this decision today, uh, the next generation uh, don't see uh, uh, the, 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 the changement if we have only one or two degrees of global warming. After if we have four or five, it could be very complicated for all the planet and not only for Champagne. Another problem is that rising temperatures causes the grapes to produce more sugar and less acidity, meaning producers are having to alter their methods. We will adapt like our elders have done 30 years ago. Uh, maybe, again, we will proceed with less and less malolactic to keep a maximum of freshness in our wines if warm years are happening more and more often. For now, champagne houses will adapt to the weather year by year and they're hoping their work will keep the bubbles flowing for generations to come. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News. Yeah, well, this is all pretty exciting. Let's get the thoughts of the wine expert, Gilbert Winfield, now. Who has brought in some champagne uh, for us to sample? Uh, so I suppose it's not quite New Year yet, but it is in uh, it's, New Zealand. It's New Year in Auckland, exactly. So shall we open it? Is that and all right? I think we should. But no pressure uh, well, doing this live on air. but <laughs> It's never too early to start. Why you're doing this... Yes. Oh, here we go. We'll wait for the big moment. Done like a pro. Uh, so talk us through, why is this new type of champagne having to be made? Right. It's, firstly, it's not having to be made, but it is the sort of... I brought this along as an example um, of a champagne because this is undosed. It has no... I will explain that in a second. But basically, it's the sort of champagne that 30 years ago would have been harder to make, would have been harsher more more acidic than it is nowadays in the post-climate change era. So what's the difference in terms of taste? I'll have a sip right. if I can. Please. If I'm allowed. Thank you. This is a Let's first. have a taste. Cheers. First. We and should say cheers, cheers don't we? Happy um, New Year. Happy New Year indeed. Oh, very nice. So what's the difference in taste between that and what you would usually have? Well, this is a champagne, one of the final stages and the, the subject of champagne production is obviously an 11 stage process that I, I could spend two hours talking about, mm. but I'm not going to. Um, but in the final stage, the last final thing you, you are allowed to do and that is m done by most people is add a tiny little bit of sugar. And this right. is something that, pe that determines whether it's called brute, extra dry, um, um, Demi sec, etc. Mm -hmm. um, this one hasn't. So, in other words, this one's called dosage zero or or um, uh, zero dosage that therefore haven't, hasn't had any sugar added. As I say, 30 years ago, the, this would have been a champagne that was harsher, and I hope you find that that it's, isn't it's harsh. Lovely, it's lovely, and it does pleasant. taste different. So, is this exactly. healthier as well? I suppose if it's got no sugar in it. Uh, argue, yes. I mean, yes, marginally. Uh -huh. It's not very much sugar that you add at the end, but yes. It's a bit like putting your, it's a bit like putting no sugar in your tea and it still tastes sweet or not, uh -huh. not too bitter, if you like. 
And what impact is global warming having on, you know, champagne makers? Right. Well, um, it, it's, uh, overall, they, they have said that the, the harvest, on average, in the last 30 years has moved uh, two weeks earlier which is a result of climate change, perhaps, but also other factors which involve better viticultural practices, etc. But by harvesting earlier, you, you harvest grapes with a higher acidity and therefore they, they make um, wines that maintain the same sort of acidity as you would have ha had earlier, which acidity doesn't sound nice, but it is a required and a desirable feature of good champagne. So I guess the grapes ripen a lot earlier. Don't That's you right. Say? The grapes are ripening earlier. But as I say, that is also partly because of improved viticultural um, practice. We understand a lot more what's going on during the growing cycle than we used to for 30, 40, 50 years ago. So are champagne makers worried about this? I don't, I don't think worried is the right word. Um, they benefit from a less variable vintages than they used to maybe a few decades ago. So, um, but they have the problem that they want to maintain this acidity and therefore they, do, they can change their practices. Another thing that you can do is move north. Maybe we've seen this. You know, oh, right, they're moving spot, location. Well, um, or just even moving country. I mean, English sparkling wine is doing very well at the moment and climate change may well have something to do with that because it's still close to Champagne with the same sort of soil and with the same sort of um, climate that Champagne maybe used to have or still does, but less so than before. Well, thank you very much. And thank you so much for the champagne. Uh, it's lovely to try, especially on New Year. It's a good um, way to. So we wish you well uh, with your new thank type you. of champagne. Thank, thank you. you.